Hello my YouTube fam. Well today we're looking at a different coin and it is known as the flowing hair let me just flip that right for you. The flowing hair dollar. And as you can see, she does have flowing hair. So that's this whole point of design of this coin is a, the flowing hair dollar. A little information about this quarter. This Sorry, this dollar, not quarter. The flowing hair design appeared in the first United States silver dollar in 1794, the date on this coin. But it only lasted until sometime in 19, 1795, when it was replaced with the draped bust design, one of the coins I showed in an earlier video. The 1794 silver dollar is a rare coin represented by approximately 150 to 200 survivors. That's how many coins of this survived. The 1795 silver dollar is much more common, but the demand from type collectors keeps the price high. So these things are very expensive. In fact, um, if I'm not mistaken, I know I saw a price tag for one. It was like, let's go by PCGS. For this exact coin, wow, the auction record for this coin was 2.82, $2,820,000. And that was an MS64 back in August 1st, 2017. Wow. Now that's a coin to have, don't you think? I mean, yes, we understand that this coin is a replica. Easily a replica. Anybody still got to admit it's, <clears throat> it's still very beautiful. So let's take a gander on the good old microscope and see what we see, shall we? I mean, as you can see, pop that up in there, pull it back a bit. Everything about this this replica matches the real thing exactly. The date, the placement of all the stars, the placement of liberty, including the back of this coin as well. The placement of the United States of America to the eagle and his, and his wings, to what it's standing on. Everything on this coin matches to the T actual real version of this coin in case you don't know that's what the real coin looks like and as you saw from earlier pictures of this this is exactly what the coin i have looks like so just remember if you ever come across a real coin like this from 1794 or, or 1795 to keep it because it's worth a lot of money. There's not a whole lot of uh, mintage on this. There's only like supposed to be a maximum of 200 survivors of this coin. And the 1794 one is more rare than the 1795. But either or, they're still worth a lot, a lot of money. So keep your eyes out for them. Because if you can find one that's not in a coin shop, you can make a mint. But until next time, my YouTube fam out there, Always keep an eye on your change, no matter it's your pocket change or otherwise, because you never next know when the next coin might be worth millions. Till next time, have a wonderful evening. Bye.